the head of a military government who overthrew the previous regime, he takes security extremely lightly. He drove himself down to Kampala's main hotel and plunged into the pool with scarcely a bodyguard in sight. However harsh the Asians may feel his new policy to be, and however unreasonable and wrong-headed it appears in British eyes, the general himself is an approachable figure, anxious to be liked, and still insistent that it's not Britain, but only her imperialist policies that he hates. The, this decision purely not against Britain, not against uh, India, Bangladesh, or Pakistan, or any Asian, but I took this decision only for the economy of Uganda. I am not going to change my mind, I think I've told them, and uh, uh, also I have directed the troops that they must not uh, harm any Asians, they must protect the Asians until they go to Britain or Bangladesh, Pakistan or India. And those who are of Tanzania, Kenya, um, Rwanda, they will have to go immediately within a less than a week to their country they come from because they are not very far from Uganda. Within less than a week? Yes, because they are just here. And uh, some of them have got uh, five passports. They are actually smugglers. So you're going to send them, uh, them away in less than a week? Yes. Mm. Mr. Rippon seems to think that three months is too short to send all the British Asians away. And some people in Uganda say that uh, even Saturday is too long. Back in uniform and taking tea after his swim, the president was obviously unaffected by the thought of the suffering and chaos his decision is going to bring in the Asian community.